chill on the couch with us. Welcome back to the couch. John Aurora Television doing her last segment for a while while she has a break. Added a free, won't be the same without this lady. Tegan Bevful, she's back with another healthy lifestyle. Hi Fred, thanks for having me in today. Thank you for coming in today. <laughs> what are we talking about today? Because you've been a, an inspiration to so many people with your additive free cooking for kids. Thank you. Well, that's, and it's been fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted to touch on today is, um, yeah, a lot of people are cooking at home and it's wonderful that people are cooking more and more at home. So I wanted to touch on the ingredients that we never think about having additives in and we just assume we're baking from home, we're using these ingredients, it's going to be additive free. But obviously if we're um, putting base ingredients in, in our mm. food that isn't additive free, then it's not going to be additive free. So we're just going to touch on that. So I brought a um, few, few examples that I wanted to talk about. Firstly, baking powder. Mm -hmm. And um, we don't often think of that having additives in it at all, but, but most baking powder has aluminium in it. And really? Yeah, and oh, wow. aluminium is not very good for your brain. It's, it's, it causes so many problems. I'd imagine it thyroid. wouldn't be very good for a lot of things. Yeah, it's not very good for, for much at all, but most... Yeah, most baking powder has aluminium in it, but it's very easy to make your own baking powder. Okay. It's just if you know someone with a thermomix or if you've got a thermomix, mm. just ro if, you, if you've got a friend with a thermomix, just rock up to their house with some rice, some baking soda and cream of tartar and you make your own. That's baking powder. That's so baking powder. So how would you put that into a cake, rice? Well, you, you actually grind the oh, rice into rice flour. Right. Yeah, you mill it into a flour and you add the other stuff. Okay. There's no aluminium in it. Um, yeah, the reason they put the aluminium in there is to stop it from caking together and also it reacts in the cooking as well. Mm. And, and then you don't get that bitter taste in your cakes as well. If you've got aluminium-free baking. So that's a really important one, but it's so easy to make your own. Fair enough. Um, Self-raising flour and icing sugar are the mm. same. They have anti-caking agents in them and you wouldn't think that they would. Okay. Um, icing sugar is really easy to get around you just by pure icing sugar instead of, it's different. Um, yeah, it's in the shopping centres, you've got all your icing sugar mixtures and you have this little tiny section with pure icing sugar. So why don't they encourage us to buy the pure one? Is it more expensive or they're just not, they've got that many brands they want to sell? I'm, I really have no idea. I think Is it's it a little bit more us? expensive. Absolutely, it's better for us. It's still sugar, so mm -hmm. it's still just sugar. But without that anti-caking agent in there, it's, it's less to clog up your system. Mm. And you can make your own icing sugar as well. Just mill your sugar. Just so just normal sugar? sugar. Raw sugar, okay. yep. And it, it actually, it's funny, raw sugar looks like brownie colour. Quite hard as well. Yeah, but when you mill it, it's white and fluffy. Okay, and it's, thank you. Yeah, and it's got no anti-caking agents in it. Um, Dairy products, a lot of, you know, your white ice creams. I know a lot of people who say, oh, we're, we're additive free, so we'll buy the white ice cream. And um, unfortunately, a lot of the doesn't time... It doesn't come white. Yeah. It becomes yeah, white. Yeah, dairy is actually a creamy colour. Yes. So a lot of the time they're using, um, yeah, either aluminium or blue food colouring to make it look white. Or sometimes mm. if you get that creamy colour ice cream and yogurts, they've used food colouring to make it look creamy. So are you saying when I buy vanilla ice cream, which is slightly yellowy, yeah. that's more natural, that colour? It's, than what it... Often it's more natural or sometimes they've put a natto in okay. there. So, but it's really easy to get around because some brands do, some brands don't. So just read the ingredients okay. list and it'll be listed as a number if it's in there. So it's, it's or make your own ice cream. Make your own. Oh, I love making ice cream. Do you make it with the kids? Yeah, we make um, we make this one out of frozen bananas, mm -hmm. almond meal and honey, and we just blend it all up and it comes into this beautiful creamy consistency. You know, I have to say, and I'm taking up a bit of your time, but you know when you make desserts and stuff like that, Everyone is impressioned in their head or brought up to go and buy the Arnott's biscuits or the Arnott's cake. The big branding. It's not about, I find, desserts like ice cream. It's not about the physical tub and the flavour and the name on it. Yeah. It's normally just having dessert is the treat. It's the fun bit. So yeah, if you exactly. make your own... You've had you, dinner, exactly. you ate all your veggies, well done. Um, it's all about having yeah. a treat for the family and they won't care as long as you put it back in that same container. Yeah, they don't Most care. Most people don't care as long as, we're having dessert, we're having dessert. Yeah, it was a That's bit of a shock to my oldest daughter at mm. first because we used to always have ice cream in the house and we used to always have this, the shop bought stuff in the house. Mm. So at first it was, oh, but that's not dessert. But yeah, over time they've got used to it and yep. yeah, we absolutely love it. It's so quick and easy to make your own ice cream and so good for you if it's dairy free, sugar free. Exactly. Toothpaste is something we never think about when we think of food mm. additives, but most toothpastes have colours, flavours, preservatives mm. and artificial sweeteners in them. Don't brush your teeth. Don't brush your teeth, no. <laughs> brush your teeth. Um, Bicarb powder. 
I know I people who that. actually make their own with um, bicarb powder. I've heard of lemon juice. Yep. Um, but there's so many good brands as well. And it leaves that distinct taste in your mouth when oh, you make it, it yourself. Yeah, I can't imagine doing it. Well, you haven't gone that no. far yet. But I know some people who've done it and they absolutely love it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's so easy. Just go to the shops and buy the different brand. There's so many brands that have the crap yep. in them and so many that don't. So just choose the brand that Anything doesn't. else you want to talk about? Because I was going to plug your books in a sec. Oh, great. Excellent. Can we, um, have you got any more there? One more I want right, to do. Cooking, cooking oils. A lot of cooking oils oh, yes. have BHA 320 in them. Oh, I know that one. Oh, yeah. What is it? <laughs> BHA 320. BHA 320. It's a really long name that I'm not mm. going to try to pronounce right now. It's ridiculous. Um, but it's banned in so many countries around the world, still permitted in our food here, known to cause depression, anxiety, wheezing, Ooh, so many problems. A lot of people problems. must be using it then. <laughs> But it's unnecessary, and you'll find 50% of the oils have it and 50% don't. So, just, so what do we do? Just quickly look at the back, and um, the ingredients should just say oil. Whatever oil it is, yep. if it's vegetable oil, whatever oil, it should just say oil. If and otherwise, it'll have a number 320 after it. Don't and go if it's got that, put it back and get the other one. Put it back on the shelf and leave it there. Yeah, it's simple. Let's talk about your books that are out now. This one's the one that I've right. got on screen. Added a free kids' party. This is the second edition. It's finally arrived, so we're back in stock and we're selling the second edition of the book. We've got some extra recipes in there. And this one here is one of my... What's really in my food. This is for juniors. This is teaching younger children to question what's in their food, to right. look into food additives and And there's and another one there. This is for older children. It's the same same book, but it's just more advanced for, for the more advanced children. And you've got the fantastic bookmarks that come with the books. Yes, and these have all of the nasty and super nasty numbers that you want to avoid. And it's, it's not for the parents, that's for the kids to hold it when they're doing the shopping. Let the kids look at the ingredients and let them start... Start having a look and questioning it. Sounds good. As always, the queen of additive-free non-cooking. Well, I don't know what you call it. Additive-free additive cooking, anyway, for kids and everybody else as well. Thank you very much for being on the show today. Thank you so much, Fred. You're very welcome. We've enjoyed having you, and you've taught us a lot about additive-free cooking. Thank you. I hope so. But if you want to know more yourself at home, all you have to do is check out our website, thecouch.com.au, and that will take you to the link for additive-free cooking, or it's actually additivefreekids.com.au, and that's uh, Tegan's website as well. But check out our website for First, and that will take you to Tegan's. It's a lot easier to remember. Thank you very much. Have a great time while you have your break. Thank you so much. And we much. hope to and see I'll you be, very soon on the couch. I'll be back after my break. Thank you very much. And she's not having a baby, if you're wondering. <laughs>